massive row has erupted over union minister participating in Karunanidhi's memorial coin as AIDMK claims secret pact between DMK and BJP. As Defence Minister Rajnath Singh released the rupees 100 Karunanidhi coin, opposition leader EPS claims it's a secret relationship which stands confirmed. What's brewing between the DMK and BJP? Bitter political rivals who displayed a rare bonhomie in Chennai. And believe it or not, what actually united these two parties is Kalai Narkarnanidhi. After Prime Minister Modi's praise in a social media post, Defence Minister Rajnath Singh on Sunday participated in the state event where a 100 rupee coin in memory of Karunanidhi was released. Rajnath Singh even visited the memorials of DMK founder Anna Durai and Karunanidhi accompanied by CM Stalin. Besides the clear bonhomie between the two leaders, Rajnath heaped praises on Kalaignar. On the occasion of birth centenary of Kalaignar, Thiru Karunanudhi, I would request all of you to give standing homage to one of the greatest Indian and greatest great leaders. Thiru Karunanudhi was a titan of Indian politics. A cultural stalwart and a relentless advocate of the social justice. And his participation in national politics, his role in coalition governments, and his interactions with leaders across the political spectrum reflected his commitment to the idea of India, a nation where diversity is celebrated. <laughs> These images of BJP DMK's dosti got tongues wagging on what's brewing in Tamil Nadu. And adding to the raging speculation was the AIA DMK, with EPS claiming a secret pact between the parties. <laughs> CM MK Stalin took a day to react to these allegations but came down heavily on EPS, questioning if he had any political acumen. <laughs> In a surprising turn of events, Annamalai, the star kid of BJP in Tamil Nadu politics, also slammed his former ally. The central government graciously, Rajana Singhji has come. Graciously he has done it. He has given respect to where it belongs. Now, if there are some political parties in Tamil Nadu which they think they are jobless just by shouting and calling this political decency into question, they are going to, a bro they are going to get a brownie point. I think they are sadly mistaken. Modi and Stalin's bon homie has always got everyone talking about the warmth between the leaders. But now with BJP openly praising DMK stalwart Kalai Nair, is there some big change coming up in Tamil Nadu politics? It has also raised a kind of like questions with the opposition leader Edda K. Swami, alleging that there is a kind of a secret pact between DMK and BJP. Now A. Raja, the uh, DMK MP has also given a response to Edda K. Swami, saying that the Rajnath Singh was the one who was invited because it is the, the actual union government which releases coins, currencies or money and that's the reason he was invited and that way it also turned into a political play. With Divya, Pramod Madhav, Foyn Strike.